that test ayyukum ahsanu amala so which of you is better if some translations say best i don't like that translation this is sim tafdil al muqarana it's for comparison purposes it's not afdal al tafdil because it's a mudaf or it's lam al ta'rif if you say al ahsanu amala like bil akhsarina a'mala that's actually superlative if you don't put the lam al ta'rif then it's not superlative it's comparative it's who is better who is better in terms of deed There's a difference between better and best, isn't it? You know when you're best, then only one person can be the best. You can't have two people that are the best. Best means number one. But when you say better, when you say better, you've got a lot of people that are better. And by the way, you may never be the best, but you can certainly become better. There will never be a day in my life where I'll say finally I'm the best that I can be. But I could be able to say alhamdulillah I'm doing what? I'm doing better. Right? It's actually a mercy of Allah that Allah did not expect perfection. Allah expected improvement. Ahsan, not al ahsan. It's ahsan. Just just show me improvement. Show me improve. and by the way some people improve slowly, some people improve quickly. Some people make long strides, some people are willing to give everything they own for the sake of Allah and some people can give a percent of what they own and that's that's improvement from zero. <laughs> that's fine. You know. Wa kullan wa'ada Allah husna Allah has promised the most beautiful things to all of them. You know, everybody will make progress in their own way. It's, it's actually a beautiful thing that Allah created this institution to see which of you is going to make strides to improve. So it's not a fatalistic view. That's the beauty of this ayah. It's not a fatalistic view. It's not death is coming. I'm not the best. I give up. You know, I, I, this is very pointed to me because of the culture I come from. This hits me in a different way because of me being Pakistani, and for those of you that are Indian or Bangladeshi, Southeast Asians, you know, you know why? Because we're instill. It's we know what's instilled in us in our education system. If you don't score the highest in your class, I got first nay ay, to maro phir jaake. Fayda kya? If you didn't rank first in your class, why aren't you dead yet? <laughs> Don't even show me your face. Why do we even send you for an education? What's the point? Number two, two. <laughs> you know, like, and you know what? How many? That that means the vast majority of children that are going through this education system expect the only way you're worth anything is if you are. The best, and if and by the way, those who are the best suffer from the most extreme form of arrogance. Yeah. Right? They suffer from the most. Ex- I came number one in my class, and then that's that guy's on a that drug his whole life. <laughs> you know, he can't get out of it, and the rest of them suffer from clinical depression, <laughs> and that depression doesn't just remain relegated to the sphere of education; it actually transfers the, over into the kind of parents they become down the road, the kind of spouses they become, and the kind of view they have of their spiritual life. They all say to themselves, "Since I am not the best believer, what's the point anyway?" And they'll give up on all their practices, prayer altogether, practice altogether. Because I'm not perfect, and the rationale they will argue is amazing. Look, I'm not perfect. Okay, I can't do all that stuff. They'll actually offer that rationale, and that entire diseased mindset is crushed in just one word: Ahsanu. He didn't ask you to be perfect, stupid. He didn't ask you to be perfect. Subhanallah, ayyukum ahsanu.